hi friends my name is Vishnu and in this video I am going to show you about cross-site scripting I am making a series video on web vulnerabilities so let's start with the cross-site scripting so what is uh, web vulnerability web vulnerability is nothing but uh, the weak code used by the developer and which uh, break by the hacker so let's uh, discuss what are the different uh, web vulnerables some of them are cross-site scripting uh, HTML injection uh, SQL injection LDAP injection OS command injection so we are discussing in this tutorial about the cross-site scripting cross-site scripting is also known as XSS attack in this attack the attacker insert the malicious script into the browser uh, in the form in the form or in the search to gain the uh, cookies from the server this uh, attack leads to the denial of the service uh, cookie stealing defacing site session hijacking and many more other hacks so let's discuss the different uh, types of attack uh, different types of cross site scripting attacks the there is a, a store stored cross site scripting or persistent cross site scripting another one is a reflection or non persistent what is store cross site scripting so let's see that what is it uh, it will uh, means the the in the code is inset into the target server or in the search or anything and when the visitor visits the website uh, the cookies of the browser is uh, stored into the web server and by inserting the code by the attacker into the in the form or in the search he will get the cookies and he can use to um, join that session so another is a reflect cross site scripting in this the code is saved into the web server by the mean of uh, submitting commands in the blocks uh, or by the mean of submitting forms like filling your information about uh, you to so join in like that in this the uh, it will be submitted to the server and it will store for permanently to the server so So let's uh, see some of the cheat codes we can use for this some of them some of these are uh, script alert uh, cross site uh, accepting so let's demolish a project uh, live lab so I am running a RAM server it's running let's open a browser I will show you the both the both the stored and reflect non store so let's open my lab uh, if you want to download this uh, DV WA the link is available in the description the username is admin and the password is password so we are in the our lab so let's change the security level to the low by damn security and low and submit it so first we go for the uh, store in this we are going to insert the our script so I go for the first script that is script alert Uh, it's not uh, so sometime we have another codes let's I am showing how it uh, will store to the server I will go for my name Vishnu and the message cross site okay let's get sign in so it's uh, stored uh, by the message 
by this we can store our name or our code to the server and we can connect this using a tunnel so now we go for the reflection in this the script is inside it and we get the cookies so i go for only the show purpose not for the cookie so let me insert our code script alert let's submit this and now we get the error by this we know that uh, this vulnerable to the cross site scripting uh, so these are some of the codes you can use this some are uh, used for bypassing some are used for uh, bypassing the ssl so, so there are some of the codes which we can bypass the HTTPS, the security version, the SSL, by using the HESA, AXI code or HEXA code. We have to convert the our script to the HEXA and uh, insert the code. Then we get the error if it is a uh, HTTPS. So thank you for watching. In my next video, I will show you the live demo of uh, the cross-site scripting reflected. So thank you for watching. Please watch my YouTube channel and subscribe it regularly. Thank you for watching.